Vegan burger. Eva's vegan burger, to be exact. Eva's coming over. Um, she's going through a bit of a vegan stage. If you've got kids, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. So this is a burger that actually we kind of made together. It was a weird sort of thing where I said, let's do a burger night. She said, but I'm vegan. And I said, okay, let's get something else. And she said, no, I want you to make a vegan burger. And so this is what happened. So we're gonna make it. It's surprisingly easy. I like to use whatever veg is in the fridge, which is what Ava got me to do. What I like to make sure is in there is some shiitake mushrooms because it adds a sort of body to this burger, which you really, really need. And then the second thing that's really important is the sweet potato and the uh, beetroot because they're naturally high in sugar. To start, you want to cut everything up into roughly one to two centimeter size dice, and then we're gonna blanch them. So blanching means we're gonna sort of pre-cook pretty quickly in some boiling water, seasoned, and then we're gonna pop them in a dehydrator straight into the water. And you'll do this with all of the vegetables. Sweet potato is now blanched. And we're gonna put it straight onto a tray with a bit of bacon pepper. And we wanna do this with all of the vegetables and spread them out nicely on your tray. If you've got a dehydrator, you'd be doing this in sort of roughly two to three hours at around 70 to 80 degrees. If you're doing them in your oven overnight, it wants to be about between 50 and 60 degrees overnight. And what will happen is all your vegetables will turn into a version of this. Here is the magic part of it. Look at this. Look how sticky that the potato turns out, and it's exactly the same with the beetroot. Now, as I said, I've done sweet potato, I've got some carrot, I've got some beetroot, I've got the shiitake mushrooms, and I've also got broccoli. Now, the two stickiest ones in there are definitely the beetroot and the sweet potato, and they're gonna bind everything together. What I need to do is start to make it resemble a burger, like a patty. How do we do that? We're gonna use a mincer. I'm just gonna turn it on. I might plug it in. <laughs> okay, now that it's plugged in, we'll turn it on medium speed. I'm just gonna feed all my vegetables through the mincer. Nice and easy. It feels tacky to the touch, which is a good sign because it means that our burgers are gonna stick together. However, I wanna give it a little bit of a helping hand. So I've got some, everyone knows pepitas, right? Pumpkin seeds. Um, blitzed up with a little bit of water, turns into a beautiful nut butter. I'm gonna use a little bit of it in the mix in order to bind, help bind it together. I've also got vegetarian oyster sauce. So again, this is made with mushrooms and it's gonna give a good amount of body. And then some salt and some black pepper. So remember the water that we blanched the vegetables in was salted, so don't go crazy. If your mix is too wet, it means that you haven't dried your vegetables enough. But look at that. It kind of looks a bit like mincemeat. Pure vegetable joy. Let's have a little taste. Pepper. It's rich. Like, kind of not, I'm not left wanting more, put it that way. Now we want to shape our burgers. How big do we want the burgers? That's the question. So look at that. There's a burger patty. Looks, looks pretty burger patty-ish. If you want to put a pair of gloves on so you don't have pink hands all day, you could also do that. Up to you. There we go. I'm going to wash my hands because filthy. Got a little tray. And we're going to get our burger patties straight on to our tray. That looks good. I'm going to go a little bit of oil. Not much. Just to help some caramelization as I put them under the grill. Now I've got my grill turned up full whack. You want to get it as raging hot as you possibly can. While they're in there, I'll start to toast my burger buns at the same time. Woo! Do you want to come and have a little look? They're caramelizing and that is flavor town. These I've had now about sort of six minutes. They're looking pretty hot. I'm going to double cheese because why not, right? 
I've got a couple of selections of vegan cheese there. Look at that. Back under the oven. Okay, a little bit of the old uh, pepita butter. Now, my usual trick, red onions and lemon juice. They've had about half an hour sitting in lemon juice and they just turn into the most delicious non-raw pickled onions. Delicious. Tomato ketchup on the lid. They're ready to go now. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at that. Doesn't that look like a burger properly? Okay, deliciousness. On. Then we're gonna go with our pickled onions. Pickles! Wow! How could I have forgotten? Pickles. How many is enough? That's a lot. You reckon? Okay. Some lettuce. We like crunchy lettuce. Lid on. Look at that. They look pretty good. Looks like a delicious burger to me. So we're just gonna plate this up. Crisps. Burger and chips, as you call them in Australia. There it is. Vegan burger that everybody will be happy with. Let's have a look at it. Oh, come on, look at that. I'm gonna have a bite of it. I can't resist. Mm. Ava, you're a bloody legend. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.